Okay, so I'm going to talk about this one. This is, uh, this is the other ones that I made were aimed at the dungeon masters and how to put in characters from the bestiary and stuff like that into Roll20. Uh, and they were pretty poorly done, but, uh, there's really nothing out there if you if you Google on how to do this. But this one, I think, is going to be a little bit more useful because everybody can use it. Uh, this is how to... I'm going to talk a little bit about how to really set up your character sheets uh, for Rule 20 to make them the most useful. And I, I found this when I was DMing, actually, that it was actually the best thing for... Uh, any NPCs I was creating to actually create a full character sheet for them. It actually turned out to be quicker to do that than to just, you know, have some crunch uh, because, well, it turned out to be quicker in-game uh, because then I could just click on things. So I, I learned to make character sheets fairly well. And so I'm going to go ahead and open up the character sheet I have for a current character in a game that I will be be starting soon a level one character. I have no bio. I have no info. Uh, well, let's see what happens if I click. Well, don't worry about that. Okay. So anyway, this is uh, this is the character sheet, and you can see I have a ton of money because I took the, uh, and that's even include after I bought all my equipment. Uh, I have a ton of money because I took the rich parents uh, trait, uh, and my DM let me do that. So anyway, that's. Uh that's, uh, yeah, any time that I have traits, I'm going to see if I can use that one, and if I can, I will. So, uh, now I didn't list that among my traits here, so I, I maybe I just go ahead and do that during our, during our tutorial here. But anyway, when you start out, the first thing you should do is, uh, you roll your, your stuff for, uh, whatever it is. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and take these and change them to zeros for now so you can see what I originally rolled. And see, these are the stats that I originally rolled. Uh, I rolled them, and there, this, is, this is what I would have gotten. Uh, so you can go ahead and put them in there. So you got a 12, you put in a 12. I got a 17, I put in a 17. I got a 13, I put in a 13, 12, 12. And I used my dump stat as charisma, even though a 10 is really not that terrible uh, for a dump stat. But I rolled pretty well. I rolled pretty, pretty well with this character. But anyway, uh, but she is an elf uh, by any other name. Uh, so I went ahead and put elf right here. That doesn't, putting in the race though doesn't do anything. I wish that it did. I wish that had kind of a drop down on there, but uh, they don't. So anyway, go back over here to the uh, the con configuration. Uh, and elves get a plus two to dex, a minus two, uh, didn't put in the minus, minus two, to con, and I believe it was a plus two to intelligence. So I put those in, and then if I go back to the main, you can see that my dex is now a, a 19. But if I put if I put on, put my mouse on there, it goes back to the 17, which I originally rolled. Take it off, gives me the 19. So that's all kind of interesting. Uh, my con is you know, down to an 11 now, which is the lowest I would ever want my constitution to be. Uh, but anyway, because you should never use con as your dump stat, no matter what you're playing. Uh, but anyway, the, the lowest I'd want it to be. But you can see, if you mouse onto it, that it was 13. So you can see how, I change, how that changes there. So it lets you know what you originally rolled and stuff like that. And you can also put temps in here, like, you know, if I tech, you know, had some poison and took dex damage. Um, you know, and it just adjusts all that. So that's, that's all pretty handy. Um, I didn't ask, but I think we start out at, at max hit points. That's, that's generally standard. So, uh, Joe, my dungeon master, if you're watching this, uh, if we didn't start out at, at max hit points, I'd be glad to roll them, but usually you do at level one. Uh, so, so I didn't ask, I just went with usual. Uh, 
initiative is kind of an interesting thing. Uh, I also took the trait ambush attacker, which gives me an extra initiative. So if you want to adjust initiative, so that gets uh, my traits gave me a bunch of money, my and and extra initiative, um, and so those were all great things to the, to talk about. Um, I'm going to show you, I'm not going to do the longbow because I had to do a few things on here and and I'll put in my strength and and stuff like that. Um, and so those, those are things on here. I'm going to go ahead and I will just delete my short sword here because I don't do anything too special with it. Um, and then I'll add it in to show you how I how you do that. You take your sheet, move it a little bit to the side, and you go over to this I here, which I'm still assuming stands for information. And you can put in short sword. And you just pull it over into your character sheet, and it puts it in. And it shows up here, and it also shows up under gear um, so that's really nice uh, really really nice now you do generally need to make some changes to it so short sword um, your attack is your melee plus minus and it doesn't have a choice and it has nothing on there uh, but it's your strength um, so that should Okay, and then if I want to attack something with my short sword, which I don't plan on doing with this character pretty much ever, uh, because you can see I get a lot better results with the longbow. Um, but anyway, so so I don't plan on, uh, on on I don't plan on using the short sword much, but I do want to have something in case you know I end up close because um, she's going to be a ranger. So this stuff is all cool. Uh, this is how you, you put stuff in. And like I said, it shows you right away. You can see, you know, I hit for four, two piercing. You know, I didn't hit for four. What what can you pass up? A wall. Some, I, actually, most I would say this is a miss in most situations. Uh, I missed for four, but if I had hit, I would have done two piercing damage. Some things you could hit for 13. Uh, so I would have done four piercing. Um and it, it tells you what kind of damage you get. Uh, so if you have something that does a different kind of damage than piercing, it'll tell you what kind of damage you do. So that's, uh, you can just pull things in like that. So I like to do that. You can also do that um, with your feats. I'll go ahead, point blank shot is I only get one feat because I'll hold one off. I'll go ahead and remove that just so that I can put it back in. So you do. Okay, let's put it back. And you do the same thing um, for feet. So you can go, and if I put in just point, it'll be good enough. Point. Rally point, point, white shot. Yep. Um, because I'm going to, you know, eventually get all the feet that I need to from that. Um, so yeah, uh, features and traits. I put down the features and traits. You can't pull those in. I don't know why. Uh, but the other thing that you can pull in are spells. Um, I'm going to just temporarily give myself uh, one. I mean, I know that a ranger at level one doesn't get any spells. Uh, well, that was a two. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and do this just to show you how you can do it. Um, uh, and if I were to just have one level zero spell, I always wish that I have this if I don't have it. Because I always feel like this is the most useful cantrip in the world. So you pull it over. And, you know, you can make adjustments because sometimes... Sometimes it's level, so, well, sometimes like it's a level one bard spell and a level zero sorcerer wizard spell. I, I don't know why, uh, but different spells work like that. And so you can, you can go ahead and do this. But if I like where it is, which is level zero, you can apply. And then you've got this on here. And then when you decide to, you're going to cast the spell, you just click on it and it goes over here and it shows up 
in in the chat with everything that it's going to do. Uh, sometimes you have to make adjustments to it, and you can. Like sometimes the DC is not really what the DC is or something like that. Uh, it doesn't automatically put in your... Uh, I don't know, like some of these things don't even make sense. Uh, sometimes, you know, it is an attack. This is definitely not an attack, but maybe, maybe your, uh, maybe your DM would let you cast Spark as an attack under certain circumstances. I, I don't recommend that, but you can put it in there, attack, and you know what, what the attack would be. You know, one point of damage or something like that. Um, it's a you can't. Um, no, I wouldn't recommend that because it's a level zero spell. Uh, but you can make one unintended fine, uh, one unintended fine flammable object catch on fire. Uh, this works as if you were using flint and steel, except that you can use spark on any sort of weather, and it takes much less time to actually ignite an object. I always like that. I always like to be able to set fires. But anyway, the truth is, I'm going to have to kill that, and I'm going to have to remove it. Because the truth is, um, a level one ranger doesn't get any spells. So there's that. Um, but if you if if I was playing a caster, I would do that as much as I can. Now sometimes you'll have a spell that doesn't that doesn't show up in the in the list maybe it's a third party spell or at least not from some of their open material uh, in which case you can always write a, a new spell uh, you just put it all in there all the information and then you can still cast it from inside the character sheet um, doing stuff like this saves you from having to make millions of macros uh, and especially being able to adjust it uh, you know if those things are on there um, I still think, you know, you have to make macros for things like, what, like uh, sneak attack and stuff like that, uh, if, you've, if you've got those abilities. Um, but I at least partly chose a ranger. I partly chose a ranger because I wanted to play a character that I played a long, long time ago, so that's part of why I chose it. Uh, but I also thought, you know, I think it'd be pretty easy to just run her from the character sheet and not make too many macros. Um, so, yeah, I think I think that's, that's what I'm going to do. One other thing that's kind of interesting, we'll go over to configuration. Skills, uh, you know, you can decide which skills you want to put over here into your uh, main thing, and I just put some that I'm fairly likely as I play and get to know how the current dungeon master I'm playing with plays, I may decide, you know, I don't want to do this, I do want to do that, or and I want to have more in here or less in here. But you don't have to have the whole list. Which ones are you actually likely to use uh, are the ones that you can put in here. Uh, so I put any things that I, anything I put ranks in. And in fact, I think I only put ones that I put ranks in. Um, nope, that's not true. So for some reason, I thought I went ahead and put engineering and geography, even though I didn't put ranks in those. Um, and nature, uh, even though I didn't put ranks in. So anyway, those uh, those those are things that I thought, you know, might come up. So I put them in even though I didn't put ranks in. So you can do that. And it is pretty cool. Uh, if you click on it, that C there stands for class skills. I know it looks like it's just like, but that's what it stands for. And if you click on it, it's a class skill. Let's go ahead and take acrobatics. See, if it's not a class skill, you don't get your three. Um, but I, I think I only put in things that are class skills. I think that's actually what I did. Uh, so anyway, those are some really cool things on the character sheet. Um, and it makes it so much more useful. Uh, you can go ahead and put your bio and, and stuff in there. That's all fun. Uh, and I haven't really learned how to use this, this one at all. Um, I don't even know what all that stuff means yet. So uh, and that's after quite a while of playing, really, if you think of all the time we did. But anyway, this is uh, 
this is a really useful thing if if you set up your character sheet on roll 20. so um if you're wondering why my